Oh, this is the torture room. The torture. Look at this crazy bird cage that they would suspend you by your hands, neck, and feet. This is Castello Corvenilor. Very nice architecture, especially up there. Today we're going to start by taking a tour of the old town of Sibiu before heading over to the castle Castello Corvinilor Castello Corvinilor and then uh, after that we're gonna find somewhere to spend the night I guess so come along and check out Sibiu with us it's a really cute old town area it is and they painted the houses mm -hmm. all the colors there's these little maps of Sibiu all over old town help you get around if you're looking for something specific but I think today we're just gonna go wander around and explore for a little bit I think this is what they call the large square actually of all names or big square good morning from Piazza Mare di Sibiu which is the big square <laughs> which is the big square in Sibiu it's um, the end of September, but as you see, it's a very beautiful day and we're gonna go see all the little streets and the beautiful building and architecture what they have here in Sibiu. If you turn around, you can see the eyes on the houses mm -hmm. and uh, we, we just had the breakfast and now we can uh, visit the whole city we're gonna go see the lion bridge which is that way now mm -hmm. i see um and in the church and everything else in here this is what i find the starbucks in Sibiu, and i might come back old town Sibiu is sort of neat with all the little passages and pathways all the streets are cobblestone you can buy souvenirs everywhere souvenirs and trinket shops it's really amazing how well preserved this city is and that's the the, the line bridge, bridge. Mm -hmm. we can yeah. go under or on top it's sunday and it looks like we stumbled upon like a farmer's market here Bunch of local products, souvenirs, honeys. Always neat to find farmers markets. This is the famous Liars Bridge. It was the first cast iron bridge in Romania, and legend says if you lie on the bridge, it will collapse. But more than likely, the name came from the German name for the bridge, which meant the bridge that lied down and eventually got changed into the Lion Bridge. I'm on the Lion Bridge where you supposed to put, make a wish. So everybody make a wish. If the bridge doesn't collapse, <laughs> the wish goes through. Such a good bridge, and there's a tunnel under it. Lion Bridge, did you, did you make a wish? No, I didn't. Aww. I didn't want the bridge to collapse. It didn't collapse for anybody. So what makes you believe it's going to collapse for you now? Catholic Cathedral here, beautiful clock tower. I'm really amazed at how well preserved the city is. Most of it was built, you know, around 1850 or so. Originally a Saxon town. And that's why some of the names around Sibiu are still sort of German names.
the museums here in the old town of Sibiu. The Art of Europe, 1500 to 1800. Not sure if we're gonna go for a tour inside. Maybe, we'll find out. It's really nice, these big uh, walking areas around downtown Sibiu. The roads are closed off to vehicles. You just sort of take a stroll, grab a snack, do some shopping. Coffee or ice cream. It's all a couple of museums. A couple of churches. Churches and things like that. It's just a nice area to come and spend. Yes. You probably spend a two or three days yes. if you've had time to go through all the museums. A lot of cafes and restaurants. And also, they had a big stage set up in the main, in the big square for an outdoor concert. So I'm guessing they have all sorts of festivals and events here too. Yes, last, um, in the beginning of September, they have Oktoberfest. Even some street performers out making balloon animals for the kids. More gift shop vendors. Pubs, restaurants. It's a really nice downtown area. And the architecture is just really amazing how well preserved it is. like an old uh, slot machine cafe or something like that, <laughs> right in a 14th century building or whatever. Love these old towns in Europe, they're so pretty. So I still think it's one of the coolest thing in these old European cities, a lot of these second and third story windows are actually apartments and flats that people own and can live in. Must be sort of nice to live right in the heart of the city. Another one of the well-preserved churches here. Absolutely beautiful. We're not going in. I believe they're having a wedding right now. It is Sunday. Maybe I'm wrong. Chris is going to go see. This is the Orthodox Church, or one of them. It was built in 1901. And directly across the street from it is the Orthodox School. Both of them historic buildings now, listed on the historic registry. The History Museum's ahead of us, and they got these cute little electric buses that run around town. No idea how you get on and off of them, but. And for now, we're trying to find our way to that clock tower. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Beautiful. Looks like it's under reconstruction to help preserve it. We just got done walking around Old Town Sibiu. We didn't really have time, but there's many museums you can go through. You can probably spend a couple of days just checking it out. 
beautiful church. It's absolutely beautiful here. Well, I went to one and was a wedding, so I couldn't really record much because I didn't find. Yeah, it's uh, Sunday, so. <laughs> so um, we're gonna go through the big square now. And we're gonna go to see Castello Corvinillo. We'll walk back into the big square here. I think, unfortunately, we missed the whatever performances were going on right here. No, I think they had like a week-long concert series or something. Maybe tonight too. Yeah, but we won't be here. And for now, we're going to Castello. Castello Corvinillo. Corvinillo. It's about an hour away to the west. And after that, we're gonna find a maybe a hotel for the night or maybe find something else. We'll see, you'll just have to keep watching our day's adventure on day two of our Romanian road trip. walking through all the little gift shops right outside of it. They have oh. Peter all here. Oh yeah. Lots of food vendors. Of course you can get ear of corn. I think first we're gonna take our little walk through of the castle here. Alright we just paid our entrance fee to go in the castle. Tickets are 35 lei each and to record on like your cell phone or they said my GoPro is okay. It was 15 lei extra. 15 lei. Four bucks. It's actually something hanging over there. See? It? Yeah, there's like a hanging bridge over there. That's crazy. There's even like a little moat that goes around the castle. I wonder if back in the day that moat was a lot fuller. And this is like the. It is. It's like a moat all the way around this castle. It really looks like a castle out of a movie or something. Bear right, run inside because there is a lot of flies, so they eat him alive. This is Castello Corvenilor. Very nice architecture, especially up there. Just walked in the main entrance. Look at this place. You can see the bedrock still exposed. <laughs> the first place we're gonna go check out is the wine cellar, also next to the restrooms. <laughs> it looks like the wine cellar now is a little museum, some artifacts in it. And we're going into the kitchen. It doesn't look like the kitchen. Not really anymore. You can see the original cooking area over here. Fire pit area. I guess we can go over here now. Leads out to a little balcony terrace area. I'm not sure how much of this uh, red brick work is original and how much is refurbished, but you can see it's that's the bridge we came in on. What's cool is this is like the moat is so cool, except for all the mosquitoes. We're 
about to enter the chapel. It was part of the first stage of construction, built from 1446 to 1456. on the third level now. Overlook of the central courtyard here. It was built as the king's residence. It's right above the kitchen in the 1450s. They have a guy in here playing a mandolin. A gothic shell. Here you can see some of the original paintings on the walls intermixed with the restoration work. This castle must have been so beautiful with all the paint, all the walls painted, murals everywhere. And then there's the ladies room. Beautiful original ceiling in here. Really nice woodwork. So this is a model of the castle that was built after the last fire it had in 1854. It's built of wood. As you can see, the main bridge to get into the castle burnt down, all the roofs burnt off, and there's been extensive stone and masonry work that they've had to repair. And they did that mostly in the 19th and 20th century. The last room is, is closed. No, the last room's oh. closed, but wow, look at this room. I like this one. It's Sala Diete, the council hall. This is the council hall. Beautiful Gothic architecture. Time to go up these scary, rickety stairs, up to the top. And they're doing, still doing more reconstruction work in here. Ooh, a little freaky. We're actually on like temporary <laughs> scaffolding here. <laughs> it's kind of scary. It's like a giant watch gap. Out. Oh, watch your head. Watch your head, watch your toe. I look at the bricks out. Yeah, who knows when those were added, either in the second half of the construction of the castle or during the, which would be my guess. Yeah, there's a view of the city below. And it looks like right now they're using the moat as a staging area for the refurbishing. Exhibition. This is the what exhibition? Ethnographical. Some of the fabrics and linens and all the common folk lived of the time. The black ships, blacksmith shop. That's what they use. The, the blacksmith shop. The position of the medieval blacksmith or met metal worker is also was the forge. connected That's with the that. the giant bellows to help keep get the fire hot enough. It's really cool. So this is the well inside the castle. It was dug by three Turkish prisoners who were promised their freedom after they finished digging the well. It took them over 15 years to dig it, and when they were done, the king that had promised them their freedom had died, and his wife had assumed power, and she didn't honor her husband's promise and executed the three prisoners after they were done digging it. And at the bottom of the well, they put in an inscription that said, you may have water, but you have no souls. As you can see, there was a 
courtyard gap between the castle and this protective wall. In fact, it looks like there was a couple. Out in the front wall are the little slits for the archers or the gunmen to protect the castle from. On this tour, you can see some of the original paintings and designs that were on the castle. This castle was rather brightly painted, I guess, when they built it. Red, orange, and white in like a 3D pattern, like a square 3D pattern. Really neat. You see, you can see the rain gutters there with dragon heads, <laughs> really cool. Your chamber. Okay, I go. Oh shit, I'm not going. <laughs> Torture chamber on one side and jail on the other. I guess if you had to pick one of the two. You'd rather be in the jail, my goodness, maybe not. Look at this crazy bird cage that they would suspend you in your hands, neck, and feet. They were not nice to people back in the day. We just finished up our tour of Castel... Castel Corvinilor. Corvinilor. <laughs> It's a really cool castle. It's uh, been around since the mid 14th century. Really recommend it. It's worth it. They reconstructed in 18 or 19th centuries. Mm -hmm. So, and even if now they are doing some re remodeling yeah. or reconstruction. It's like a, a complete castle. It's not like a old ruins. It feels like you're walking into a castle sort of as it was. And probably in the next five or ten years when they're done with the restoration it's going to be really beautiful yeah. and it is now so and it's like 35 lei which is like ten dollars to entrance so it's not yeah. it's not even that much it's like it's, seven dollars yeah, or it's something it's not that much so if you are in this area we really recommend come to visit all right and now we're going to go to alba alba we're going to go up to alba and see what we find there
All right, we made it to Alba Iulia. Alba Iulia? It's Julia, but in Romanian. Yes. <laughs> and it's a uh, giant citadel. And if you look at Google Maps, it looks really cool. The old fortress wall is sort of in like a eight-sided star shape. Like star. And you can hear the church bells going off ahead of us. And we're gonna go explore this area for the next couple of hours. Looks like Oktoberfest. I guess they gonna... have, uh, in the background, we can hear some live music they have going on right now. So we might go over and check that out later. Maybe we find a place to eat around here. That sounds good. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten and dinner yet. And it smells nice. I don't know where the smell comes from. But, oh, but that's I wasn't a hungry, giant I statue with a guy on a horse, huh? I think this is the square and discovered. Mm -hmm. There's like a little fair going on right now. That's pretty cool. It's Sunday night. I don't know if this is special for tonight or if it's like this every Sunday night or just every night in general. This is the main gate entrance to the Citadel. Beautiful. Beautiful reliefs and statues on it. It's actually the back side of it once you enter. And we're gonna walk around out to the front. This is the third gate of the fortress. It was constructed in 1715 is when it started. And it is just massive and really cool. Look at these giant wheels that they used to crank to open up these doors. Really cool. It's probably a little dark. It's like a drawbridge almost. It is a drawbridge, huh? It's really cool. Oh, there's Chris already right behind me. Wow, that's an impressive gate. Look. That's how you keep people out of your fortress, I guess. You can see these giant protective walls with this moat around it. Oh, they put a little garden in it. So this is a model of the citadel, the fortress. As you can see, it's in like a star pattern here. Over here is the gate that we just walked out of. That's the third gate. And I'm not sure where the other two is. Maybe it was just the third gate constructed. Really cool. supposed to walk into the fortress here. As you can see, it is a fairly steep climb hill. The fortress is definitely built on the highest ground in the entire town. Yeah, from up there you can see the whole city. But we're going to probably the first gate here. I think that's another cool entrance gate area, that's for sure. I guess this, this is the first gate or the outermost gate to the entrance of the fortress. Really cool statues on it and reliefs. I can see how this would be a really hard place to attack. I mean, just look, you walk, you go in and just nothing but hills on either side and one main aisle that goes pretty steep uphill. Didn't notice this about the, this gate. There's a relief of Medusa being slain, which is crazy. Something out of Greek mythology. And I'm not sure what this relief is depicting, but it's cool. Guy fighting a lion. Really, the moat's now turned into like gardens all the way around the fortress, which is really cool. And at night, they light it up. Looks really nice. in Alba Iulia.
unfortunately we got here to the citadel a little bit late and it got dark on us and we're hungry and there's only one restaurant sort of connected to the citadel and it was all full so we're gonna go back to the car go find, find our hotel finally or maybe go find maybe a dinner find so a nice restaurant in our Bayulia. all right so we found a place sort of next to the citadel where we found a couple of burgers to get and they look really good it's huge they are huge they have all sorts of things on them caramelized onions and mushrooms and like some sort of special sauce looks really good we're gonna dig in